All right, this is the continuation of my current event rant. Well, the last part I left off, I was um, explaining to you about, about um, the, the plot of what's really going on. And I told you that the, the plot that's really going on is that they're, they're trying to program the, the people to uh, forfeit their right of the United States Constitution. The United States Constitution is the thing that, that holds um, the whole glue together for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That gives everybody the right to express themselves freely, to uh, believe in certain things freely, to vote freely, to uh, work freely. Um, well, whatever you want to do, you can do it freely, you know what I'm saying, With, without being forced to do anything. So, and I was telling you about the one, uh, the, the uh, MK Ultra project and how the MK Ultra project has now went globally through like different sites like on social media, like Facebook. Um, it is going global through your Twitter accounts. Um, it's going global through your um, going global through your email accounts. It's going global even through the um, even through the media that you watch, different movies that you watch. Uh, matter of fact, uh, um, Netflix has started this this um this thing like I think over almost a year ago and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Probably longer. They started this um this this campaign allowing a a, a, a robot name. Max to help you choose a certain movie that you want to watch. Many of y'all y'all probably were familiar with Max if you have Netflix. Others y'all probably wasn't familiar because you never use them. But me, I'm I'm crazy. I do dumb stuff like that. So it struck my curiosity to use Max. So I um I use Max and I allow Max to um to try to pick and choose a movie that 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 was suitable that I would actually like and stuff, right? So Max would ask these different questions like, first of all, you know, what type of movie that you would prefer, you know what I'm saying? Then then after that it was like what 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 genre of movie do you like drama, horror, whatever. Then he get go through the process of choosing these lines of movie. Then it then then uh Max he asked you to uh to rate the movies too like okay from a scale of one to ten do you like this movie or do you hate it? From a scale of one to ten do you like this movie or do you hate it? On a scale from one to ten do you like this movie or do you hate it? And kept going, going, going. Then finally at the very end Max will automatically choose a certain movie for you based on what you said. Now I mention this because this is the same way how the MK Ultra programming is and stuff, right? And that's another form of the programming where ultimately you end up giving up and just allow your freedom of thinking aspire and let a robot choose your way of thinking for you and stuff. And then that's and that's what's happening right now and stuff uh, through uh, through all these things through your movies, the movies that you watch and stuff. It's a form of M, form of uh, MK Ultra programming. You know what I'm saying? Or we say Willie Lynch programming you, same as that thing. It's the same thing. It's programming you to think a certain way. It's, in, other words, in other words, it's taking away your freedom of free think that God has given you. God, that, that's one of, besides the life, one of the greatest gifts that God has given you is to freedom of choice. It's the freedom to think with your mind. Because your mind is actually your spirit man. It's where your spirit man transmits everything. You know what I'm saying? I know uh, many people right now who are religious and stuff like that. They believe in, in the thing talking about uh, speaking the things into existence. They, they believe on uh, the thing where say when, when the praises goes up, the blessings come down. They believe in all the different things. But at the same time, that thing is no more different from uh, people who um, believe in uh, the law of attraction or believe in the secret. It's the same exact thing, the same exact thing. But people, they'll say that that's Gnostic, you know what I'm saying? But it's not. It's the same exact concept, you know what I'm saying? Uh, believe in what you speak things to existence because everything starts with your mind and your spirit and stuff. If you put it, put it into your heart, that out your heart is going to flow certain issues of life that you're going to want to deal with. And so, wealth is good, wealth is bad because God has given you that specific power to do that. You know what I'm saying? So back to what, what I'm saying about this is that all this stuff is allowing you to lose yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some people, uh, I know a lot of people, they spend over eight hours a day in social media and regular media, uh, watching movies and all this stuff instead of being active, instead of doing natural active 
activities like going to the park or just going playing and stuff, especially with our children and stuff. Our children, you know, they play video games and all the stuff there, but sometimes they be able to be playing video games for like over four, twelve hours and stuff like that, and they might be totally deprogrammed and stuff, believing like whatever they game they're playing, they just into that world, you know what I'm saying, like an alternate universe or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Hence what People being calling, the conspiracy be calling the matrix, you know what I'm saying? Where it's programming your mind and stuff, programming you to not think no more, you know what I'm saying? Where you just a machine, you know what I'm saying? So, now, all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, being programmed into the MK Ultra thing and stuff, right? I'm going to reveal so, a, a certain thing. So, y'all mark my words on this for real. Uh, first of all, let's, first of all, let's deal with the same sex marriage thing and stuff too. Now, with, with the one with the same sex marriage thing, this is what's going to happen. Um, it may happen in the next couple of days, maybe within a month from now, whatever the case may be, it's going to happen. What's going to happen is that um, a certain individuals or individuals is going to be activated by the MK Ultra program, where they're going to be activated and they're going to start going into these mega churches that y'all worship. In the door so much, and they're gonna challenge them mega churches and stuff to marry them purposely do that. And the reason why is because they trying to do they the whole agenda behind it through the programming is that they're trying to eliminate the freedom of religion from you. They're trying to take your religious freedom from you. And many of you um I hope it I hope this rank go global for real because uh, many like many like these um, mega pastors and stuff like that, they're gonna have to choose. They're gonna have to make a choice. Either choose to lose the business or money that you have or choose to stay in it and follow that. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to make a choice and stuff in it. It's gonna have to be one or the other. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to, and that's all, uh, even as the Bible say, they, they call it as a great following away and stuff, which I want to even mention about the, the Bible too and stuff too. Now, a lot of y'all, y'all y'all probably going to disagree with me on this, but just like I say, this is my opinion. Even with the Bible, the Torah, and all these different books, which are good historical books to read, but however, I would bet to say that even these historical books is also was part of the MK Ultra program too, to program your mind, to uh, program your mind to not think outside the box, but to be a slave into whatever it is that you believe in. And I'm, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you disagree with me, cool, I don't, you know, that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? But I honestly think that that whole thing, also them books and stuff, you know what I'm saying? How the way it's been taught, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, yeah, just think about this for one moment. Okay, many of us, we go to church um, on Sunday. Many of us, we go to church on the Sabbath or whatever. Even go to church on Wednesdays. How long do you stay in your church service? At the most, many people stay in the um, church service between like two to three hours or even four hours, depending on what's going on in the service. What be going on in the service? Do, do y'all know, do you know that you be programmed in a service? What do they do? They program you with music. Then they program you with, with a lecture. You know what I'm saying? Then they program you with a quiet moment, which they call prayer. Or another word, in other words, meditation and stuff. You know what I'm saying? All these avenues, revenues and stuff like that is what, what the same revenues about the MK Ultra program, what it does. It desensitizes your mind where you don't have the, where it takes away your freedom of thinking freely. You know what I'm saying? In actuality, your spirit is meant to be free. It's not meant to be caught into a box. When God designed it, your spirit, matter of fact, when God designed it, Adam and Eve, you know what I'm saying? They were, they were designed it as a free spirit, as a free being. Who had everything, you know what I'm saying? But the but the moment when they step, the moment when they lost their freedom is when they step out of the, the zone or the per parameter, thinking that they needed more. Ain't that what, what's happening right now? Ain't that the whole issue with what's going on with life right now? Uh, we've been programmed to think that we just need more. We need more. We need more. We go through these social medias. Need more friends. Don't know why you have 500 friends, but you just know you need 500 friends. You don't even talk to 500 friends on Facebook, but you know you just need 500 friends on Facebook and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You got Twitter followers. You got people following on Twitter. You don't even know who, who the hell they are, but they 
they're following you and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't know why you're doing it, but you're just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Same thing going into this building. You don't know why you're going to church. All you know is that you're being programmed or taught to go into these church buildings and to give your money. You know what I'm saying? To give your savings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? For hope or wherever it is. You know what I'm saying? Different, different avenues, different revenues and stuff like that. And stuff, which is reverted to back when I'm talking about being programmed or desensitized and stuff. So, like I say, it's going to be other different things that's going to happen. That's going to be the first thing that's going to happen within that same set thing and, and the um and um the different mega pass. So y'all might as well get ready for that and stuff. The next thing that's going to be happening is that it's going to go global to the business world and stuff as well and stuff too. They're going to program. Uh, they're going. I'm sorry. They're going to activate certain individuals once again to go into these corporate business worlds where they're going to challenge them and um, challenge them and they're going to have a choice to either um, condone to to whatever um, it is that they want or lose everything you got. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the same as that thing. You know what I'm saying? So so um, my, my brothers and sisters um, what, what, what's, what's getting ready to happen is the way bigger bigger than a black black rights, white rights, um, police rights, and stuff like that. It's way bigger than that. What's happening is that your United your constitutional rights is fixing to be taken away from you. Period. Many of y'all seen the, the movie The Purge. I know y'all have. Y'all remember in The Purge and also in The Purge Anarchy what happened? They decided to allow one year of people just do whatever the hell they want to do. You know what I'm saying? One year to do whatever the hell they want to do with no laws and stuff like that. Ain't that the same exact way what would happen when the United States Constitution be taken away from you? That then what's even further is that it's going to give them every right to create a new law where you're going to have to condone to it. If you don't cut down to it, you're going to be considered as an enemy of the state. And I want y'all to think about that.